Good morning, Pastor Ray here with The Daily Bread. God is good. Today is Monday. It is beautiful, and thank God for today. Amen. We get to get into his word, the book of Acts, chapter 27. Uh, we are almost finished here with the book of Acts, but let's keep plowing through it. Amen. I believe in God. Hope all is well. Hope you had a great weekend, and um, things are working out for your life. Amen. Seeing God's blessing. Uh, let's read this text and see what we can learn today. Um, Paul issues a warning and he gets ignored. Now, how often does that happen in life where, you know, well, as a preacher, you send out warnings sometimes, you know, you, you have to preach certain things. Listen, watch out. Don't do this. Why? Because there's trouble at the end of this. You know, that's what the Bible warns about giving, being given over to sin and uh, following our lusts and um, uh, you know, uh, all, all the other things that there's warnings about, especially like last day's judgment, you know, that there's a warning, right? Come on, there's warnings about this. And so Paul issues a warning and they don't want to hear him and they're going to pay a price. But let's read it and see what we can learn. Amen. It says this, verse 9. Now when much time had been spent and sailing was now dangerous because the fast was already over, Paul advised them, saying, Men, I perceive that this voyage will end with disaster and much loss, not only of the cargo and the ship, but also our lives. Nevertheless, the centurion was more persuaded by the helmsman and the owner of the ship than by the things spoken by Paul. And because the harbor was not suitable to winter in, the majority advised to set sail from there also, if by any means they could reach Phoenix, a harbor of Crete, opening toward the southwest and northwest, and winter there. So, Paul gives this warning. He's like, he has, it, that's, a, that's a word, like the Holy Spirit is operating through him. And so he's not just speaking because he knows the sea. He's speaking because the Holy Spirit is working through him, giving him some direction. And so he's issuing this warning. Listen, if we do this, it's dangerous, man. Right? Like, we don't want to do this. And so, but they're persuaded by other voices. Isn't that how it is, right? It's the old cartoon picture of the angel and the devil. And so this is the voice here, and we got this voice here. Is that how your life is? That's how my life is. I know I have God, it's word, I have the spirit, but I also have another voice, and the enemy, and my own flesh, and I have to listen to the voice of God. And so uh, warnings are issued. Remember, it starts in the beginning, the book of Genesis, chapter, uh, in the very beginning, what happens? God gives Adam and Eve a warning. Every fruit, every tree you can eat of, go ahead, it's all yours. Don't touch this one, because if you eat of this fruit, you will die. But there was another voice that came, wasn't there? Satan himself came in, slithered in the snake and said, did God really say? Hmm. Sounds all too familiar, right? Come on, God gives a warning. God has warned people. God has reached out to people. And so many times they push God's warning, God's voice to the side, only to have disaster and difficulty meet them. The, the devil's a liar. His plan is to steal, kill, and destroy. Come on, listen. You know, uh, as a preacher, I'm not just trying to waste my breath and trying to give warnings and tell people, listen, follow the Lord, serve the Lord, uh, turn to Jesus. And just because it's, you know, popular, this is it's foolishness no because why because there's a, there's a, an enemy whose desire is disaster his disaster the warnings come and it's disaster uh, Noah gave a warning for hundred and twenty years Noah preached to those people and hundred and twenty years later only his family was in the ark the warnings Jesus gives warnings right don't be religious and outward, but let it be sincere from the heart. Oh God, yes, come on. And here, but how many times do people ignore? And oh, if we would just heed the warnings, if we would just listen and be humble and say, you know what, God knows better. How much pain could our lives be spared if we would just obey and heed the voice of God? And I wanna encourage you in that today. Heed the voice of God, listen to God, come on. Don't, don't play games. Don't put it off. Don't, don't fight with God. No, listen to God. 
Some of you already know God, God speaks to you about things in your life and about things that are happening, habits that you have that you need to break, uh, uh, things that you're into that you need to stop being into it and get rid of it. And you need to turn to Jesus. He can save you, set you free, get you on a road of that leads to everlasting life. Amen. Come on. Jesus died for you because he loves you and he wants to save you and work in your life. And so there's the lesson and we're going to see tomorrow. They don't listen to Paul and it's bad news. Uh, but listen, we have a choice today that we can hear God. We can obey God. We can listen to God. And I encourage you to do that today. Amen. Unashamed, unafraid. The Lord bless you today in Jesus name.